So a data warehouse is a database designed specifically for analytics. That's what it's built for. It's a central repository of integrated data. So it brings together data across the company for easy analysis. And it's sometimes called a single source of truth. A data warehouse, though, is different from our operational systems. Those systems support day-to-day -day operations like tracking sales and shipments, and they're updated a lot more often. However, these systems can be an input to the analysis and the work we do inside our data warehouse. Now, on the other end of this, once we get the data inside the warehouse, it can provide information for dashboards, reports, and models as we work to answer questions about our business. Now, in terms of benefits, a data warehouse gives a consistent view of an organization's information. So you're all working off the same sheet of music. What you don't want to do is go into a meeting and have different numbers for revenue. You want to have a consistent set of information. Additionally, that data warehouse gives an integrated view for more value-added reporting. So for example, it can give us a more complete view of our customer so we understand maybe support calls that they have, uh, shopping data, shipment data. It brings it all into one place so we can better understand that customer. It's kind of like driving down the highway and seeing out of all of your mirrors and not just one. You get a more full picture of your surroundings or of your customer in our case. Also, when we're bringing data into the warehouse, it often needs to be cleaned, either before or after loading. As a couple of examples, we may remove duplicates, which can be common when we combine data sources. Also, splitting columns, for example, splitting the city and the state in this scenario, or filtering out irrelevant observations, which aren't important for our analysis. Now, when we perform this cleaning or this transformation, when we do that before we load it into our data warehouse, that's known as an ETL process. We extract the data, we transform or clean it, and then we load it. Another way of doing this is doing the loading and then the transformation. That's ELT. So we extract the data, we load it into the warehouse, and then we perform the transformations while it's there. So we could be using ETL or ELT. Additionally, the tables inside the data warehouse can be organized in a variety of ways. Probably the most famous is the star schema, where at the heart of it, you have a fact table with measurements, like our sales data. And then around that fact table, you have supporting dimensions, which provide more context to those measurements or the sales, like a list of customers, employees, products, or other things. And finally, many data warehouses are now moving into the cloud for a few reasons. The cloud is affordable. You pay as you go or only pay for what you use. It's scalable. You can grow those data warehouses really quickly and they're available. There's nearly a continuous uptime and you have redundancy built in in the event of any failures. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe below. And if you're interested in other analytics cheat sheets and resources, you can find them over at codybaldwin.com.